Hello everyone and welcome to this month's DIY Crafter Noon. Um, this month we're making a pumpkin wine glass candle holder. And as you can see, I did give it a start because um, there's a lot of layers of paint that have to go on it and I don't want to bore you with all of that. So um, we'll go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys what you need to do. If you were able to get a kit here at the library, you would have gotten a wine glass. You will have gotten um, three little containers of paint, one black, one green, one orange, your instructions, and then a piece of twine. So the first thing you're gonna do is uh, take the little price tag off the bottom of your wine glass. You don't wanna paint over that. Um, and then you're going to paint your wine glass. And you're gonna start with the bowl of the wine glass and you're gonna paint it orange. And then you're gonna move on and you're gonna paint the stem and the top green. So the instructions say um, to do that about three times. So three coats of paint. I found that I did actually need four. Um, so if maybe you have a heavier hand you will only need three, um, but you should definitely have enough paint to do even five if you need to. So I've done my uh, four coats of paint on here um, and let them dry. So then I'm gonna move on to the next step. And that next step is doing um, the little top of the pumpkin here in green. So, you will need to provide your own paint brushes because that's not part of the kit. I'm just making what would be the top of the pumpkin that connects it to the stem, connects it to the pumpkin part. And this is really all up to you and your artistic flair and how you want to make it. I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out. We'll see here. And you can make it go down as far as you want. I'm just going to do this little bit right here. And this should only take one coat of paint. Um, if you don't want to see the orange through it, if you, uh, if you, if you don't want to see the orange through it, you could probably put on another coat of paint. I don't mind the orange going through it because um, kind of on a pumpkin, it kind of looks that way normally. All right, so then once I have that part done, now we're gonna work on the face. So here's where you have to decide how you're gonna make your jack-o'-lantern face, what their eyes are gonna look like. Um, there's a picture on the um, instructions to kind of give you some ideas. Uh, otherwise, you know, obviously, feel free to be as creative as you want. I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm not a good jack-o'-lantern carver, so hopefully I'm a little bit of a better jack-o'-lantern painter. We'll see. We'll see. So you're gonna take your black and you're gonna make your face. You're gonna do that obviously on the bowl of the wine glass. Figuring out how I'm gonna do this. All right, this might be the best way. So I think I'm gonna do, I like to do triangle eyes when I carve a jack-o'-lantern, so I'm gonna do triangle eyes on my jack-o'-lantern here. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a triangle nose too. I gotta think about what I'm gonna do for my mouth. I'm not really sure yet. I kinda like some of these on this picture here. Maybe I usually do the teethy kind when I'm carving a jack-o'-lantern, but I don't think I can paint that. So, I'm gonna figure that out. Maybe I'll do just a smile. I kinda like this. Let's try that. Hmm. 
I like it. I actually did okay. Ta-da! I like it. Okay, so then once you do the face, let that black paint dry and then put on another coat of the black so that you cannot see the orange through it. I'm not going to do that right now because i got to let mine dry. And then once everything is dry um, and it's to your satisfaction, you can take your twine and you can tie it around and make a little bow or just a knot, whatever you feel like. And there you have it. There's your little jack-o'-lantern wine glass. Pumpkin, pumpkin wine glass candle holder. Ooh, so many words. And then all you need is you could do like a, a regular candle. You could do a little tea light. You could do one of those battery-operated ones too. Um, whatever you like. And they're really easy to make. And if you didn't get a chance to get a kit here at the library, I got all the wine glasses at the dollar store. One dollar for the wine glasses and the paint's pretty cheap at Michael's too. So I hope you guys enjoy making these. It was pretty fun. Um, and I hope you have a happy Halloween and you join us again next month. Um, I won't be here next month, but Jennifer, our director will be. She's gonna be doing We Jar Winter Scenes and they are adorable. I saw her sample and it's super cute. Um, so we will have registration. Registration's open right now if you want to attend the in-person class for that craft. And that's the second Wednesday in November. Otherwise, if you can't attend that day, the kits will be available the first Wednesday in November for that craft. And we will have the tutorial available on Facebook the second Wednesday of the month. Um, you only need to register if you plan on attending the in-person class. Otherwise, you can just come in and grab the kit. So I hope you guys had fun today, and I hope you join us next month. Happy crafting!